Good Sunday morning. Confidence. Sometimes we should be careful with that. The confidence of the disciples rested on the ability they thought that they had to understand what Jesus was saying to them. They wanted to know and then they thought they would feel at peace. Now we know, they said. Now we understand. Jesus had been speaking to them in figures. The foot washing, the vine and the branches, the woman in childbirth. But now you are speaking to us plainly. Now we know and understand that you are indeed from God. They felt a sense of security because they understood that. You and I are no different. We think that God has to explain what we're going through and that then we'll feel secure. Then we'll be at peace. Our peace wants to rest upon certain knowledge of what is happening to us. But the Lord is very careful to point out that kind of peace is actually insecure. Within an hour, you will be running like a bunch of frightened sheep. You say you know who I am. You say you understand that I came from God and that I know all things. Do you know that within an hour's time, you'll be so confused and so uncertain of what's happening to you that you'll run away and you'll leave me alone? And rather than trusting me to work things out, you'll forsake me, not even want to be identified with me. And yet, I won't be alone. My security won't be threatened in that hour because the Father is with me. And I say this to you in order that you might know the kind of peace that I have. It's not based on what's happening. It's not even based on my understanding of what's happening. But it's based upon trust in the one that I know who controls what's happening. This I say to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you're going to have nothing but trouble. Trouble at work, trouble at school, trouble at home, trouble in your family. You're going to have nothing but trouble because that's the way the world is. But cheer up. I have overcome the world. What an encouraging word from Jesus. Listen, I've had my share of tough times. Great personal stress and deep, deep sorrow. I've had times of uncertainty and times when I've lacked understanding, not knowing what God was trying to do. There have been times that I thought that what God was doing was completely wrong, thinking he had no business doing things like this to me. Something tells me I'm not alone in such confusion. And that's why we must continue to return to these tremendous revelations in his word every single day. You can have my peace, Jesus says, my sense of security which rests not in your circumstance and not in your understanding of your circumstance, but in the confidence that the one who is guiding the circumstance knows what he's doing. That's where peace comes from. Lord, grant that I learn to make you my source of peace rather than seeking peace from circumstances or from understanding what you're doing through my circumstances. Lord, forgive me for acting surprised when I have trouble at work or home or even at church. Help me to remember that real peace is a result of trusting in you, my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name I pray. Amen. It's Sunday morning.